Right guys, welcome back. So in this video, I am going to talk through, obviously we are doing shooting now, but this is going to be a two part video for shooting, um, I think. Um, we are going to do the movement of the bullet and we are going to do the bullet hitting something and destroying it. Um, I do this in a bit of an odd way because I want this script to work. So say for instance, you were creating a turret or something like that, that it would also work for that, especially the bullet in this case. Um, so to start with, we need to set up two different things, right? So we need to firstly create a bullet. So I'm just gonna do a 2D sprite as a circle. I'm gonna increase the order in layers so I can actually see it. Um, be higher than that actually. Um, so we should have something like this. I'll make it red because that's always bad things. We are going to add a rigid body 2D. We are going to add a circle collider. I'm going to set the gravity scale to the rigid body at zero because I don't want gravity to act on this. I'm just going to call it bullet so I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to add a tag to it. So add tag bullet. Save that. Go on and add the bullet to it. So that's cool. That's working. Um, so that's all there. So the other thing I'm going to add is another random 2D object. And we'll, cut, we'll just make this a square. This will be our enemy function because why not? I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to make it a bit bigger because these look really good when they're all stretched and weird. Um, I am going to add a box collider to that. So the plan of action is here that I'm going to shoot that and it's going to try it. But we're not going to do the shoot in this video. We're purely doing the bullet. So I am just going to very quickly create a... Um, an enemy, we'll say health, but it's gonna be a one shot kill for the time being. I may come back and look at health later on, but for the sake of this video, it is literally going to be, it's gonna be quite easy. It's just gonna be a um, an on trigger enter 2D function. Other, I'm um, oh, sorry, no. if other uh, dot compare tag and bullet we are going to destroy game object so that kills ourselves and just to be neat and tidy we are also going to destroy other dot game object so that not only will it destroy us it will destroy the bullet as well so that should work fairly easily uh, we can find the enemy we can add that to that. So that's working, that should work. Um, I don't think it'll work in play mode because obviously the bullet doesn't move yet, but if I take this out on maximizing view, there's a good chance this won't work. I just wanna see if it does. If we move this over, no, it wasn't gonna work because it's working on that. Um, sorry, I was being daft. Oh, actually, maybe it will work because I haven't set the trigger up on my bullet yet. Oh yeah, there we go. So you see that working. Uh, so make sure, don't do what I just did, make sure the trigger is clicked there. But you can see that if the bullet hits the enemy, it does kill it. It was risky whether that was gonna work or not, but it did. Yep, we see that working. So the other thing we're gonna add in this video is just the movement on that bullet. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to click and create a version of that bullet that fires towards the enemy. The reason I like to do it like this is uh, because you get to change the bullet speed on the fly. So you'll see that in the next in the next little bit of this video. But yeah, so yeah, let's create the next bit. So create a C sharp script. This is going to be for our bullet. We'll just call it bullet. And if we double click and open that, we know for a fact that we've got a rigid body on this. So we've done something similar to this in the player controller. So we need to reference a private rigid body 2D. We'll call this RB. And we also need to reference a public float 
for speed. Um, reason for this, we need to know how fast the bullet's going, yep. So, in the start function, I'm going to add two things. The obvious one is RB equals, not that, that's, that's not what I wanted. Uh, RB, oh, I've called it rigid body, that's ridiculous. Right, RB, there we go, equals get component rigid body 2D open close bracket semicolon. So as we know, that finds the rigid body on the object that this script is on. The other thing we're going to add is uh, destroy game object comma five, not 45 that is. So what this does is this destroys the bullet, but after five seconds. The point of this is you don't want your bullets, even if they fly off the edge of the screen, if they never destroy, you can fire too many bullets to the point your game will start lagging out. So that's why I do that. Just it makes it a little bit cleaner. If you miss the enemy, then they'll destroy after five seconds, which is also a really good way of setting range as well. Um, so if you wanted to make this a bit more advanced, you could even think about like setting up different guns and then changing how long it takes to dis destroy. And that's your range setup. But just for this video, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Obviously, you could expose this variable as a range variable. Um, but yeah, so one more line of code, and that is just setting how fast this bullet's going. So rb.velocity equals new vector 2. And we're going to set the x to 0 because we don't need to move on the x-axis. And uh, the y to speed because that's the axis we want it to move on. So we'll save that. We'll go back to Unity. If I now add the bullet script to this, and uh, for the time being, I'll set this to if I set it to one. We might be able to still see this happen, but I just, I just want to move the bullet right to the bottom of the screen. So if this works, we'll see it moving. Yeah, but after five seconds. There we go, it disappears. That's why I wanted to make sure it was going really slow. Um, so for this, bear in mind in the next video, I am going to be showing how to make this fire out at the end of the player. But just for the sake of this, if I smash this speed up to like five, we'll see that this happens. There we go, the bullet flew, hit the enemy, killed it. So there we go, we've set up an enemy that gets destroyed when it's hit by a bullet. And a bullet that moves um, by a certain speed and destroys itself after five seconds if it doesn't hit anything. So in the next video, as I say, this is like a two-part video. In the next one, I'm just going to show you how to click the mouse and it fires that bullet for you. Yep, so I'll catch you then.